Coach David Alawalt, head coach of the boys varsity basketball team here at Washington High School in Washington, North Carolina. Um, I've been coaching high school basketball for about almost 20 years. Um, this is my second full season at Washington. I, I really like this team a lot this year uh, in particular just for the simple fact that when I took over the program last year we had a bunch of young inexperienced players and I don't think the winning tradition was quite instilled here over the last maybe decade that, that probably it could have been. So, you know, my first job coming in here was to change the culture a little bit and get these kids to believe in themselves. And, uh, and I thought, it, you know, going into this year, I really do feel like that's carried over a lot. Uh, the guys are hungry. You know, we lost to Farmville Central last year in the second round of the state playoffs. Uh, the moment that game was over, the guys were, were real eager to, to, to get back at it, you know, work on their bodies in the weight room. And, and, and just skill developments and things of that nature. You know, we have a very senior heavy basketball team this year. We have 10 seniors, which screams a ton of experience. Um, I do like the makeup of our team. We're really athletic. You know, we're a standard 2A program. I don't think many 2A programs have any people over 6'6", to 6'9", to 7 foot. It's, it's, it's very rare. Uh, so we're, you know, 6'3", 6'4", average across the board, but, but real athletic. We shoot the ball really well. We get up and down the floor. And, you know, I'm really looking forward to see what these guys can do because, you know, like your, your show is going to be called All the Smoke. They're trying to bring all the smoke, you know what I mean? This team actually thinks they can win the whole thing. And, you know, and I'm not going to hold them back from that. Their intensity level says so. Their athleticism says so. So, you know, some of the other goals that are thrown out there is, you know, we want to win conference. I mean, Kenson's got some crazy stat line to where they've won or hold a share of the conference title for like, I don't know, 25 years or something like that. I think. And they've won the conference tournament for like 16 or 17 years in a row. Now we won't have a conference tournament this year, but it'd be real nice for our program to, to compete and hopefully win a conference title for the simple fact that if the, if the realignment stand tall, then this is our last shot at Kinston because they're going 1A ball. So, but our goals are definitely are, are up here. I mean, we, we want to take care of the conference first and then we're aiming to win the whole thing. Yeah. Uh, so, Mario, I'm Blunt, class of 2021. What team you seen the schedule correct? What team, what team are you looking forward to playing most? Kansas. Kansas, why Kansas? That's, that's like a rival team. Think y'all can get them this year? Of course. Uh, Jeremy Bryant, class of 2021. Jamari Bryant, class of 2021. Um, what game are you looking forward to most? Well, Kansas. yeah, definitely Kenston. We, 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 we want to play them the most. What is it about Kinston, you know, besides them being your rivals? Um, well, to be completely honest, that's been a little, you know, chitter chatter. Yeah. So, so our team's seen it and we took it personal. So, I mean, I still got, and I know a couple guys over there, and they know us, so, but. We were losing them, you know, almost every year. You know, like last year, they beat us in the conference cha championship game. Yeah, we lost to them twice in the conference. So, you know, just just want to win. Like, put Washington back on the map. Like, we, we can beat Kinston. I just want to beat Kinston. Think y'all got a good chance at this? Yes, a sir. great chance. Kinston is a marquee program. If, if you sit here as a coach of any other program around and you say that you don't want to, you know, kind of mirror them or be like them, then, then you're, you shouldn't be doing what you do because they're so successful with doing it. With that being said, I mean, we're coming for them straight forward. You know, we, we, we want to play Kinston. We, we want to compete against them. And we feel like we got the makeup to do that. From the coach's standpoint, I mean, it's one game at a time, right? It's like, what, who are you looking forward to playing? Whoever's next on the schedule, right? You can't underestimate anybody. And you've learned in the Eastern 2A ball over the years, you got to bring your stuff every single night because, you know, it's going to be competitive. But I, I know where the guys are thinking. I know where their heads are. And, and, and I tend to agree. We, we, we have to beat Kinston, and, and, and that's what we want to do. To, and I feel like that's what we need to do to get the conference this year. Tell the people a little bit more about you know who Omarion Blunt is. Okay. And what what they can expect from him. He's an assassin. You know, I think I mean he's a dead eye shooter. I mean he's he's going into his senior year. He has over 1,200 career points. <clears throat> he's averaged pretty much 18 points or more his entire high school career. Uh, he's really done a really nice job developing some leadership qualities. He's uh, he, he's definitely one of the players on the floor that that everyone else looks up to and expects to perform on a nightly basis. 
He's, he's really gotten better defensively. He's super, super athletic. And, you know, I, I think he's one of the more underrated players in Eastern North Carolina, if not the state of North Carolina, uh, just for the simple fact that he hasn't played on any marquee AAU programs to where he can get highlighted throughout the summer. But every year when you come into high school basketball, he's, he does it traditionally like he used to do it in the, back in the old days, right? When you didn't have AAU and all that stuff. You know, colleges had to come out to your high school games to see how well you played. And he just excels at the high school level. And, and I'm really looking forward to see what he does this senior year. Uh, this season, I hope to uh, get to the basket more, better my defense, and be an all-around team player. That's my personal goal. Coach Dave, that's like a, a father figure to me. He always been there since he came here. I, I knew him before I came here. He, and he's just been like a father figure to me. As far as basketball, like he a really good coach, best coach I ever had. He tough, he very tough. But at the same time, he outgoing. Yeah. You know, what do you see this team going this season? What, what are your goals? All the way. You want to go all the way to state? We got to get it. Everybody sleep on Washington. It's get back game. We coming for revenge. We is not losing this year. On God. My name is Terry Moore. I'm in the class of 2022. I attend Washington High School. Uh, this season, I feel like a lot of people look over us. So this season coming up, I want to like make a statement. Like, I want people to know that we can all, that everybody in the gym can hoop. Yeah, I think Terry has really worked on his game within the past year from season to season. Uh, you know, playing the AAU circuit this year has really helped him a lot. Uh, he's worked his tail off just from a skill development standpoint. He's always working on his body, whether it's for basketball purposes or football purposes. Um, I just, I'm real high on him. I think playing with Rashad Smith last year really helped him understand a, a, a huge part of what it takes to, to, to be the general on the floor for a basketball team. And I just think like his confidence level from last year to this point this year, it's, 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 I'm, I mean, it's 100% Bill Fold over. You know, he's, he's definitely got this eye, twitch in his eye. He's ready to roll. And, and I think you can expect a lot of really, really good things from him. I want, to, I want to make it to the state. I want to play in the big game. That's ain't, that's, that haven't happened at Washington and over some years. I want us to be the first group to do that, Put, make history. Well, um, I just want people to know that like we come, we on a mission. Like We trying to win states, and we the underdogs. I don't, I don't think they put us in like the top team for the 2A East, so we're going to show them that we belong up there. Jamari has a really unique style game. He's really quick off his feet. He's developed a mid-range jumper. He can he can knock down behind the arc as well. But he's just a, he's just got that you know in the basketball terminology, he's got that dog in him. You know what I mean? He he has no fear factor. He'll he'll take the ball to the hole as hard as he can. He, he's really worked hard on his defensive skills. Protects the rim for us. Um, gets up and down the floor really really fast. Can handle the ball. I mean at the next right now for us you know since you know we're six three six two. He's six four six five. He's He's probably playing the big part of the, the, the stuff for us down low, but he definitely has what it takes to be a combo guard at the next level, for sure. Well, um, I missed the whole season last year to ACL injury, so it kind of took a toll on me. So this year I want to come back and, you know, just straight out kill, just kill. No matter what team, no matter what player, just come back, I have something to prove. That's all, um, and win, and win states. That's, that's all that's on my mind. Jeremy was one of those players before I got here. Um, the Twins, you know, originally they're from Raleigh. Uh, Southeast Raleigh High School is where I think they went freshman year, and then they transferred over to Washington for their sophomore year, and that was before I was here. And Jeremy had a real solid sophomore year. He averaged like 12.9 points a game and about four or five rebounds. And then coming into the junior year when I got here, he, uh, he tore his ACL in a scrimmage here against Washington County and uh, he missed the entire year and you know bummed him out but I think the unique thing about Jeremy is is that you know he got to sit and watch and I know all kids and players and scholar athletes whomever it is hates to sit and watch when they're athletes but 
he got to sit and watch and learn. And I think that that's going to carry over into this year. And he's really been working hard. I mean, he, he's been working on his body. He just has a no-quit mentality. He's, and, and him and his brother kind of like are two different individuals when it comes to their game. Jeremy more so likes to live on the perimeter a little bit. But, I mean, as you saw tonight, I mean, he'll, he'll get inside. He can finish at the basket and such. So I'm real excited about how he fits into our, 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 our team as well just because he's come through this whole process with all the other guys but he didn't have a piece of the 18 wins last year like the rest of them did. So for him to come in and to have some success early in the season with the rest of, 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 his, of his brothers is going to be super. Um, so if, if the people watching at home, they want to know, you know what's, what's one thing that they're gonna, they can expect out of Washington this season? Championship. Championship. State champs. State champs. Yes, State champs. That's all I don't mind. We, we coming for it. We coming for it. Is there anybody that you don't want to play? Nobody. Uh, we don't care who it is. I, I want to play anybody. Anybody. I, I want the best teams. teams the know? best teams. So you want all the smoke? Yes. All, all, the, smoke. all the smoke. Get back. Get back. Yeah. I'll, I'll get back. Yeah. yeah. Sir, all back. the smoke. They know who they are. They know the team. The team know who it is. Well, we have we have a couple kids that live right here in Beaufort County that in, uh, over the last couple years uh, went to some of the private schools around here and they decided to challenge themselves to see, you know, how well they can play. So actually all three of them are, you know, two of them are already over a thousand career points and one of them's real, real close. Uh, I'll talk about all three. That's, you know, it's, it's only fair, but, you know, Jack Kirkman, he's a, he's a, he's a, he's a combo guard. He, he moves without the ball, gets up and down the floor, is a hard worker, can really shoot the ball. Uh, Gunner uh, Couch, who came from Terracia, is, is a real good perimeter shooter. Um, you know, working on his defense a little bit, getting him more well-rounded. But I think he'll, you know, we'll get into that as the season progresses and he gets used to the competition. And then Matt uh, Van Staldunen, he's about 6'4". I, I call him, I call him Matty Ice because he's he's just even keel the whole way. Real good shooter from the perimeter. I, I mean, I've seen him catch fire before, before where he doesn't miss. I mean, he can take the ball to the hole, he rebounds for. It's just a real smart IQ. So I think the blend of all three of those players are, are really going to give us a lot of depth moving forward. But, but yeah, when we were talking earlier, we were talking about Matt because he wasn't at our session tonight. Um, I, uh, I just wanted to mention him to you, to you just for the simple fact that he wasn't here and he's going to be a real important piece to the puzzle for us. Um, I mean, we have a lot of rich history, you know. I think that anybody who's a basketball enthusiast or does what you do knows that, you know, Washington, you know, back in the heyday was a pretty dominant program and it kind of just fell to the wayside a little bit over the years. But I don't think anybody doubts the fact that, that the athleticism's here. Um, we have the kids here to compete, you know, and, and, and that's what we're trying to do each, each, each night, each season. You know, each year we're 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 going to 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 try to put forth our best effort to be the most competitive basketball team we can possibly be, and and, and make this community proud. And that's that's what's important to me, and I know that's what's important to the school, and I know that's what's important to these kids, for sure. Go pack. One, two, three. Yeah. Yeah.